world's oldest industries, we'll visit a north country town where clog making is in full swing. The cause of the boom, besides government orders, is coupons. Yes, clogs don't need coupons, so experienced craftsmen are having a busy time trying to keep pace with the demand. The soles are skillfully shaped out of good old English birch or beech. The hides for the uppers, some 5,000 bales a month, are treated in a dozen different ways before they're ready to meet the good soles waiting for them. After being rolled and stretched, the surface is given a good scraping. Then the leather is dyed and polished and finally powdered. The toilet of an upper is as important as a debutance. The shapes of the uppers are stamped out and the various parts cut from the patterns. There are many different designs. The parts are sewn together and eyeletted. And they say that in every eye and eyelet, there's a straight as a die North Country look. The touching moment when the two meet for the first time. Who said that the upper classes had no soul? Special clog nails join the two together in perfect harmony. So the job is finished. A perfect wooden shoe. Wooden but worn by dainty feet. And the clog workers think that clog wearing, like charity, should begin at home. Good for you girls. Lest the seals forget,